In the scorching heat of the desert, a behemoth of steel rumbles across the sand, its tracks leaving deep imprints in the earth. This is the M1A2 SEP Abrams tank, the crown jewel of the U.S. Army's armored forces and a $19 million marvel of modern military engineering. But as the dust settles around this mechanical beast, we're left to wonder, is this costly titan truly worth its weight in gold, or has it become the military's latest expensive headache? Picture this. It's 2023 and the world is watching as Poland signs on the dotted line, agreeing to purchase 250 of these steel monsters for a cool $4.75 billion. That's $19 million per tank, enough to make even the most seasoned accountant size water. But what exactly are they getting for their money? At first glance, the Abrams is a sight to behold. Its sleek lines and imposing presence scream, don't mess with me. It's got all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a top of the line battle tank. Cutting edge anti-tank protection, thermal sights that can spot a whisper of heat in the dead of night, and even a fancy graphite coating that helps it blend into the battlefield like a 70 ton chameleon. But here's where our story takes an interesting turn. You see, this tank isn't just big, it's got an appetite to match. Imagine a gas guzzling SUV, then multiply that hunger by about a thousand. The Abrams gulps fuel like a thirsty giant, getting a measly 0.6 miles per gallon. To put that in perspective, your average family car could drive from New York to Los Angeles and back on the amount of fuel this tank burns through in just eight hours of operation. Now, you might be thinking, so what? It's a tank, not a Prius. And you'd be right, but here's the rub. In the heat of battle, when every second counts, you can't just pull into the nearest gas station for a fill-up. This insatiable thirst for fuel creates a logistical nightmare that would make even the most seasoned supply officer break out in a cold sweat. But the Abrams weight problem isn't just about fuel. At nearly 70 tons, this tank is so heavy that it's pushing the limits of what our current infrastructure can handle. Bridges strain under its weight, roads crumble beneath its tracks, and forget about air transport you'd be lucky to fit one of these beasts into a C-17 cargo plane. And heaven forbid, something goes wrong with this complicated piece of machinery. The Abrams is so complex that many issues require the tank to be shipped back to specialized facilities, sometimes even all the way back to the US. Imagine being in the middle of a critical mission and having to tell your commanding officer, sorry sir, we need to send the tank back to the shop in America. But wait, there's more. The Abrams has a few more tricks up its sleeve, and not the good kind. Its air intake system is prone to clogging in dusty environments, which is a bit like having a sports car that can't handle a little road dust. And after unleashing a fury of shells in rapid succession, the tank's rate of fire drops faster than a lead balloon thanks to its separate loading system. Now, don't get me wrong. The M1A 2 SEP Abrams is still a formidable machine. Its trophy active protection system can swat incoming projectiles out of the air like flies, and its digital battlefield management system makes it the tank equivalent of a chess grandmaster. But one has to wonder, at what point does all this fancy tech become more of a liability than an asset? As we ponder these questions, the US Army isn't sitting idle. They've been watching, learning, and planning. The war in Ukraine has been a wake-up call, a brutal reminder that even the mightiest tanks can fall prey to modern warfare's evolving threats. Drones buzzing overhead, loitering munitions waiting to strike. These are the new predators of the battlefield, and they've got tanks in their crosshairs. Enter the M1E3 Abrams program. The Army's ambitious plan to teach this old dog some very new tricks. Picture a tank that's not just tough but smart, a tank that can dance as well as it can punch. The goal? To create a leaner, meaner fighting machine that can hold its own in the conflicts of 2040 and beyond. First on the agenda, shedding some pounds. The Army's engineers are scratching their heads, trying to figure out how to make a 70-ton tank lighter without turning it into a tin can. It's like trying to put a sumo wrestler on a diet while keeping his strength intact but they're determined to get that weight down to a svelte, 
60 tons or less. But it's not just about weight. The M1E3 is set to be a tech marvel with a modular open systems architecture that sounds more at home in a Silicon Valley startup than a battlefield behemoth. Think of it as future-proofing, the ability to swap in new tech faster than you can say software update. And let's not forget about protection. The lessons from Ukraine are clear. Tanks need to be ready for threats from all angles, especially from above. The M1E3 isn't just getting armor, it's getting a complete protective overhaul with systems built into its very bones rather than slapped on as afterthoughts. There's even talk of a hybrid electric drive. Imagine a tank that can sneak up on the enemy in silent electric mode, then unleash the full power of its engine when it's time to bring the thunder. It's like a Prius and a monster truck had a very angry baby. As we watch this metal giant lumber across the battlefield, leaving a trail of fuel consumption and maintenance headaches in its wake, we're left with a pressing question. Has the pursuit of the ultimate tank created a monster that's too expensive, too heavy, and too complicated for its own good? Or is the M1E3 program the key to transforming this lumbering giant into the agile warrior of tomorrow? In the ever-evolving world of military technology, the M1A2 SEP Abrams stands as a testament to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. But it also serves as a cautionary tale. Sometimes, bigger isn't always better, and the most expensive option isn't always the most effective. As armies around the world continue to invest in these rolling fortresses, only time will tell if the Abrams will prove to be a $19 million solution or a $19 million problem. One thing's for certain, in the high-stakes game of modern warfare, the biggest challenge might not be the enemy on the battlefield, but the limitations of our own creations. The future of the Abrams, embodied in the M1E3 program, is a high-stakes gamble. Will it be the phoenix rising from the ashes of outdated tank design, or just another expensive experiment? As the battlefields of tomorrow take shape, the race is on to create a tank that's not just powerful, but adaptable, efficient, and survivable. The M1E3 Abrams isn't just fighting enemy forces. It's battling against the very concept of obsolescence itself.